ひとかちゃん。はい、Q、シーズン2エピソード3。送るからちょっと待ってて。How's your first day? どうした先生難しい顔して。Oh, it's time to overhear an important conversation. 東京遠征の際に借りる予定だったバスが、どうも、他の部とかぶってしまって、借りられそうにないんです。<笑>俺ももうちょい OB とか当たってみるわ。The amount of people dedicated to this team, outstanding. いざとなったら、No, no, that's so nice, but nobody wants that. Don't go in a pocket. やったー<笑><笑><笑>君がいると、キヨコさんがよくしゃべる。そんな勧誘があるかバカごめんね、バカだね、まったく。The intensity continues. 自分から進んで何かやったりとか、逆に何かに必要とされたりとかなかったので、劇とかやっても、絶対その他大勢の一人なんです。村人 B とか、木とか。In your life, in every moment before this, you were just asleep, and now you were awake. わかるぜ、その気持ち。俺もキヨコさんに。君からお金を騙し取るからついてきてって言われてもついていく男らしいでりゅうなんか違う Don't encourage him <laughs> 燃えてきた<laughs> just, From her perspective, volleyball club is just guys sitting around yelling They're just sacks of testosterone and adrenaline on legs There are two types of people in this world Those who drink and those who cut watermelons Episode 3 Townsperson B. Okay, so I'm going to go to the next one. 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 Nice place. Ah, it's a good one. She's good at design, right? I feel like actually that's going to be pretty useful for her management duties. Paras no no bare bute. My wa, then go to the next one. Even mom knows? How does mom know? Kore kara ben kyo stari toka. なんでもいいけど、本気でやってる人の中に入って、中途半端やるのは、一番失礼なこと。Oh, <laughs> some like deep insight from mom. As she just leaves her household, <laughs> leaves her daughter alone. <laughs> I don't know. Didn't seem cool to me. Felt like reasonable advice. I don't know. 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 Yeah, I mean, I think she laid down a challenge. She's probably right not to say that she couldn't also balance it out with a little bit of,、uh, you know, emotion, positive regard. That's a huge relief. My two moms. Business mom, volleyball mom. Yeah, I mean, I feel like they're both right. I really am a true believer in the idea that. The perfect is the enemy of the good. I feel like that, that was a really important insight for me specifically.、But、there's also just the reality that for a lot of things, you don't even know what something is until you are involved in it, no matter how much you think you do. And for complex things, even getting into it, even being really good at it, might mean you know a very specific slice or subsection of the whole. Even in the fields that I feel the most knowledgeable and have the most insight, I'm aware that there's a huge depth of knowledge that is just shrouded in darkness for me. But you can't even be aware of the terrain until you're actually walking it. I don't think the important thing is whether or not she's going to be committed. To volleyball her whole life, or how much she likes it before she even knows what it is, because of course she will end up loving it thanks largely to this team, but just how conscientiously she approaches it. I mean, she has duties, right? If she approaches it with an open heart and open mind and makes an earnest attempt to do her best, that's all anybody will ever ask for. And more importantly for her, that's what will let her walk away feeling satisfied, whichever way it ends up falling, you know, whether or not she sticks around or not. So, in that sense, they're both right. She doesn't need to be a master of it, she doesn't need to know yet. But she does need to see it through to the best of her ability in order to honor the, the team and the people who care for it so passionately. I suspect one thing that will really bring this to life for her beyond the interpersonal connections is she actually has a lot of things she brings to the table that she doesn't realize yet. There's a lot of synergy for her as manager. She actually seems really gifted in ways that are useful, but she isn't the type of person to look at herself that way or realize that. <laughs> I want to remember that line for the inevitable match against Ushikawa. Yeah, Kyoko's getting a lot out of this too. <laughs> oh man, he's, it's great. He doesn't care at all about how crazy he looks, he just is himself. 
You gotta go back and watch season one in the tournament arc, then you'll get it. <laughs> Oof, damn. Speaking of intensity. I think the hunger comparison is very apt, actually. Personally, I think that the desire to find meaning and purpose has biological and evolutionary origins. I think it ends up being greater than the sum of its biological parts, but nevertheless, it's so universal that it seems to me to be a pretty defined mode of sense. I feel like everyone knows the feeling of being off track, feeling lost, driftless, stuck, versus that feeling of when you're in exactly the right place, you know, that you wouldn't be anywhere else, where it feels like something magical is happening that is significant to who you are in the trajectory of your life. <laughs> What do they not know the word? Tsuki Sensei is disappointed. Time to learn a bunch of names and backstories. <laughs> Speaking of that instinct, you know, I think that. Oh, there she is! Hitting the ball! Oh no. Of course it hit not, hit not his head, as it is just a magnet for balls. And the veteran, knocking it out of the park. I was gonna say, speaking of instinct, I think one way that sometimes takes shape is you end up being called to do things and following leads because you recognize they're significant to you or will be significant to you or is what you need before you even realize that's the case. It's easier to see that in hindsight and I think that's the case for her as well. There was some kind of pressure in her life for which this invitation provided an outlet and she's gonna like catch up conceptually to the fact that it's gonna be meaningful to her. I've had that feeling so many times where I see an opportunity or I, I see an activity or event or whatever, it may be a job, and it jumps out at me. You have like this weird moment in time. Some of those moments end up being really vivid in memory. <laughs> I like how the legend is spreading. All eyes on Hinata. He's got that magical X factor. He's just a wild volleyball genius. <laughs> That's totally uncaring. No. Oh? Oh, I thought she was like glaring at him longingly. But that's all it takes. Oh, yeah, suddenly, suddenly realizing how important this is from an emotional perspective. With their last battle being a devastating loss. I mean, maybe not these kids, but a lot of people, you know, it's easy for them to get superstitious, see trends where there aren't any trends. A loss for most people would just deepen that hole for them. But we had the whole talk last episode. We know they have spirit. Anyway, they're going to win. <laughs> they have all this channeled energy. That's tough to, like, keep track of that while you're enjoying watching. They're not even showing the other team's faces. They just feel like target practice right now at this point. Maybe no backstories today. No sympathy. Just absolute <laughs> destruction. <laughs> Devastation. And yeah, this team kind of, kind of think of it. They kind of walked into a cannon. They were all primed for this victory, for this battle. I almost feel bad for them. Thank you for just absolutely annihilating us. It's a mad genius. Townsperson B. She's Townsperson B. She's the NPC in her mind. Yeah, there was a whole episode about enjoying being the decoy. Probably the best damn town person B you've ever seen. Putting her art skills to work already. Oh. 
他人が自分に示してくれた気持ちについて言う言葉あさっき勉強した方の意味ね Makes me feel better about myself that even Japanese teens are still learning Japanese 今日もまた帰り遅くなるからあ、うんさ、行くわよえ、ちょっと先輩ひとかちゃん何か言おうとしてなかった大丈夫うん、何でもないよ Seems like she spends a lot of time alone <laughs> I mean, that is Radar acting up again for a critical encounter. Yeah, that was just the first couple episodes. <laughs> じゃあさ、言えばえ駅に向かったんだよ、ね、Oh no! Oh no! His meddling is channeling his inner Deku 先輩だって、最初から強かったわけじゃないでしょひとかちゃんに同じ強さ求めちゃダメですよひとかちゃんは、これから強くなるんだから I don't know, I like the mom. Just the little I've seen of her. I feel like it comes from a good place. You can maybe just assume and fill in the gaps that she's not around much, but in her eyes, this is her service to her daughter, right? She seems to be a high level professional, provides a good life, and nothing she said is wrong. It just seems like it's one of those things that emerges where it's one, her projecting her adult world onto her young daughter's world and thinking it's an exact one to one image, and two, the idea that this is not all her daughter needs. It's not all about strength, it's not all about growing up. There's a certain amount of Childhood fla flailing around that is useful and probably essential, and other things to develop, like feeling a sense of support, scaling into difficulty and responsibility rather than having it all immediately and wilting under it, etc. Well, we might be hashing some of this out. She has no idea what that means, but we're talking. The dialogue has begun. Hinata's really rubbing off on her. Well, you wanted strength, huh? <laughs> These commuters are having their day extremely disrupted. Uh, she's proud. Yeah, I mean, she clearly loves her daughter. That's not the issue. And I think if, with that being the leading thing, it'll work out. <laughs> it's cute that they're studying together. Oh, she, did she say her mom's a designer too? Yeah, this could be great, right? I think a lot of how well it lands depends on how much she's ready for it. If she is ready for it, if she really wants to be great at it, it's like the best thing for her. Nice head pat there. Mother head pat. I don't think we've gotten one of those. It's a new one. Novel head pat. It's like me making thumbnails for IQ. It's thumbnail's cousin. There's that synergy I was talking about. The skills she brings to the table. That happened real fast. It's great news. Oh, she gets the uniform. It's her moment. And she is sufficiently inspired and in awe. <laughs> I mean, it would be pretty horrible if any of them failed. I really like Yachi-san. Yachi-san's addition to the, the club. I was thinking watching this that it gives us a chance to do other things that are not like rising to the challenge, victory related, in the spirit of sports and volleyball. There's, of course, a common element, which is why Hinata is able to be inspiring to her. But it gives it a little bit of extra life flavor. While, like I said, being tapped into the same vein of, you know, becoming a, a realized human being, seeking to become gods on Earth. The mother thing is dicey. It comes up in a lot of shows, I think. But what impresses me most about it is her ability to handle it. Like I said, my instinct about it is that the mom has her heart in the right place. 
place. She cares a great deal about her daughter. She wants the best for her. Her criticism doesn't feel to me like it comes from a place of competition or wanting to take her daughter down a peg, being secretly envious of her youth or anything like that that you see sometimes. It just feels more like her life has been difficult and she's aware of the, the full scope of what it takes to be really successful when you aspire to something. Related to what I was saying earlier about you don't even know the field until you start walking the terrain. She's walked it and she sees it and she understands that her daughter doesn't see it, which of course is natural if you take a step back, right? It's part of her natural progression, but it's a desire to want to see her succeed. And so I think with that heart behind it, people are generally pretty good at intuiting those kinds of things. And while it may be difficult to live with someone like that, and it might be a struggle, and there will definitely be pain, I think that's the kind of thing that resolves over time, because inevitably what she'll interpret big picture is that her mom cared about her. And there's a scenario where this goes really wrong, right? Like she's not at all ready for this level of challenge or responsibility. She has other areas of her life that need sorting out. One of them perhaps being feeling loved or feeling unloved, feeling like her life is in chaos or that she's all alone. But what ends up happening, and I think is really nice and is a testament to Yachi, is that she kind of rises to the occasion. And so her mom being there for her ends up being something that actually really is useful in the way her mom wants it to be. It's like exactly the sufficient level of challenge for what she's ready for. And maybe she knew that. Maybe that's what she wanted. Maybe that's what led her into the volleyball club in the first place. She was speaking to an idea of not really having any purpose or not really having any responsibility, always being a side character, side person B. The irony being that of course now she's not side person B or a great side person B. You can look at it in multiple ways. But the point is she's elevated herself to something that she clearly wasn't satisfied with before. So her introduction is really cool. It has a really nice dynamic and it also adds another outlet and another view on Hinata, which I think will be really fun to watch going forward.